All right, so we're going to kind of go through the review of this player. So the before on the left, the after on the right. And we're really just going to talk about the tasks and strategies we use to help improve this golf swing or even this movement. So when we're looking at the left-hand side, obviously there's going to be a couple of aesthetics that might stand out to you in posture. Why do we really try to improve posture? Well, how the player sets up their tilts, their bends, where they put pressure, etc. how they kind of place segments even can really affect or really interfere with how they rotate and how they move. So when you have certain kind of positions so certain positions with pelvis chest shoulders arms etc it's going to largely dictate where where you can go so when we looked at this player on the left hand side we'd see a couple of things and we we're kind of looking at how much kind of the back side okay so the glutes there kind of pushing back down in a way so sitting back down a little bit you'd see quite a bit of hinge in terms of the pelvis so the pelvis really trying to be pushed forward so that curve in that lower lumbar area really being pushed forward you can see a little bit of tension up here and that kind of upper scap in the shoulder area so all those things really making it difficult to rotate really really well in backswing so rotation being very very different than a kind of a reorientation so reorientation being very much this spinning out affair. So that player really rotating very quickly and rotation, excuse me, being more that kind of gradual spiral effect. So turning up into the back swing, which we'll kind of mention a little bit later on in this session. So again, looking at the player on the left-hand side, what would we have happen early? Very much this spinning early. You can see from that, that club head traveling very, very low early in the back swing, really, really low into the back swing there. Not a whole lot of rotation now from that hip and that front, that pelvis actually moving forward, pressure going onto the toes, reacting from where it was at setup. And then as we came down, he does a good job of it, the true impact, delivers that golf club really, really well, and kind of hits a pretty decent shot. But again, it was just more of, okay, well, how do they move from those positions? So when we look at the position on the right-hand side, we'll bring back the one on the left for the moment. We look at the position on the right hand side what really were the sensations well the sensations really getting that pelvis or that belt buckle even to face up towards sky a little bit more so really creating more of a curve in here so going back to kind of what we would kind of you know more kind of refer to as a posterior tilt to the pelvis so your anterior tilt would be more that player really kind of pushing the belt buckle down that we kind of see more of over here the posterior more that player kind of feeling like the belt buckle point points a little bit more up to the sky so really removing the pressure point in this lumbar in this lower part of the back now you're going to have those curves in the lower part of your back that's called you being a human being so you'll have a curve here in the lumbar in the thoracic and in the cervical up there they're absolutely fine to have nothing wrong with that but if you're putting excessive pressure and try to hinge here that makes it a little bit tricky so a lot more relaxed what we see on the right hand side and then as we go through into backswing you're going to see that club travel ever so kind of steeper in here in that first move if we look at those two first moves again this is kind of incremental but it is better in terms of what we're looking for so club more in front when he gets up top clubs or hands excuse me are going to be a lot higher than they were on the left hand side so again as he works down on the left hand side that big push to get the hands out in front that pelvis moving forward not so much on the right hand side see that pelvis kind of hang back a lot more space in true here and able to get that club on the golf ball a lot cleaner so really how did we do this right and that's really really important so first off was the kind of posture but what tasks or drills did we really use so from here is just me kind of adjusting posture so you'll see the player kind of doing what we want them to do if you kind of look and kind of just have a viewpoint in here you'll see him trying to get that belt buckle up so that's just me kind of just confirming just give me a little bit of aesthetic feel and once we get those feels that's absolutely fine and then you can just go and hit as he likes and even there we saw well that was better in terms of the movement but i still didn't like where the hands were and i still didn't like how that club traveled early so once we got the posture improved or the setup improved in terms of the structure then it was talking about how the club travels back and really these both these swings really I wanted the club traveling a little bit taller a little bit more spiraling up so again looking at the old swing on the left hand side you see that club kind of travel very very low to the ground early right so very low that body really spinning out okay so as you said before that's not rotation that's reorientation so that's spinning out okay that reorientation of all the muscles all the segments and the club very much traveling excessively too low in there what we'd like to see what we'd like to feel a little bit more is that player moving more along this body angle so the club more spiraling up in this direction you can call it on plane or you can call it whatever you like so how do we create that feeling once we've improved posture in the space of an hour that's where we introduce different tasks and this one is one of my favorite ones um a guy called dr mike k introduced me to this task and it's just basically a water bag 
we kind of fill it up down the bottom of water and the idea really with the player is just to swing this water bag now obviously they're not going to swing it like we see over on the left hand side if they did that they wouldn't like create any energy or any force and they wouldn't be able to swing it up and down or through the kind of impact area so on the right hand side you can see the kind of pitch or the spine or excuse me the kind of the plane would be very representative of what you're told in theory is a great swing plane so you know if you look back down there and you draw a line through that water bag it's pretty similar in terms of what you'd like to see versus again on the left hand side we'd see more something like this and the hands a little bit too deep so this water bag creating energy in the water really trying to get the water to move up here stall it out and then the water to drop again creates the kind of semester that we want so what we do is we get the player to do this a couple of times so even if we kind of go up top here again on this next kind of feel we stop them up top here look at the extent the extension in the body versus this on the left hand side so if you look at those two positions in terms of the body and go okay well which player is extending up creating force up ready to kind of go back down into the golf ball you look at where the kind of player is compressed where's your space where's the room we need room to move into as a human being to create energy so if i don't have any space and i don't have any room and i'm compressed over in here i'm probably just going to spin everything out towards the golf ball which is what he does over here he's lengthening and creating space in here you can see how open the chest is now again i know it's a golf club versus a water bag i appreciate that but this is about getting a player to move differently right and what we do is we do this three or four times same idea you can see him extending up that water bag representing energy going upwards and then we get the golf club in his hand I try to feel the same thing as much as possible even in this rehearsal swing you'll see in the rehearsal swing i know the camera's moving i apologize about that but you'll see that club going up on a much steeper plane that body extending up so as we get over golf ball that idea can we replicate that same sensation hopefully the task in itself really kind of creates the intuition to replicate it so now you get that club traveling up a little steeper a little bit more spiraling up the body at the top is a lot taller he hasn't compressed down versus again here on the left hand side so two very very different positions in terms of how the body move the body on the right hand side extending up due to two things mainly the posture the discussion and the task we created with the water bag so that's just a little breakdown in terms of the like one session really with this player is it learned yet absolutely not there will need to be a lot more kind of you know practice or learning done with this but to give him an idea or kind of where we want to go with posture with kind of tasks with how we want that club to travel this is how we basically compile that in, in the space of a 60 minute session